Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the secret to making your Odyssey setup sound even better. What we're going to do is we're going to basically open up our settings menu. We've already run our Odyssey setup, so what we want to do, we're going to run into speakers here, go into the manual setup so we can adjust those settings, go into our crossovers, change it to individual if it's not already. And what you want here is if you have towers as surrounds and whatever, your Odyssey will have set it up probably to like 40 hertz. And what we want to do, uh, this isn't a one, like what I do here might not necessarily work for you. But what we do is, because I have the Poke RTI A9s, um, we have them set to 60 hertz. And I'll show you why in a minute here. Our center channel, that's kind of irrelevant. I just use it like it's a small speaker. So it's set for 100 hertz. The same with uh, go down. <laughs> same with our heights here. They're just little speakers, and only 100 hertz and above. And it was set slightly above 100 hertz, but my subs I only do at 100 hertz and below. So I drop them down to 100 hertz just so we're not losing out on anything. We're picking up all the frequencies everywhere. Um. And then now the reason why I changed these to 60 hertz is because of this. Right here, it's the frequency response chart for my speakers. Your speakers have one too, they all do. Whether or not you can find them is kind of iffy sometimes. But uh, the ones we're looking at here is the purple line. It's the Poke RTI A9s. And you'll see here, there's a dip in the curve right there and on this chart the end of it is 20 20 Hertz and then the other end is 20 K over here so 20 30 40 50 right between 50 and 60 Hertz is where that little dip is so we set our crossovers just before we get any little dips and I make sure basically Anything we give it, all the way up to rated power, probably even a little bit more, gonna sound clean. We're not gonna get any distortion. It should sound great. As long as everything's set up, it's a clean source, going through clean power, coming out, you know, no interference, everything's proper, it should sound amazing. You'll, be, you'll really notice this when you crank it, when you got it going, <laughs> you got it at those high levels. You know, before the bass had hit or whatever, you kind of hear like a little distortion or something wouldn't quite sound right, this will fix that. Um, what the Odyssey did before was kind of preset any phase issues you were going to have with the speaker placement. So what we're doing now is we're correcting the frequencies that are going to each speaker for each individual speaker as they're built, what they play. So we're only giving them exactly what they can reproduce properly. We don't want anything any other way. Just pristine sound. So that's what we're going to get when we do this. Um, I couldn't find the chart for my energies, but they're just little speakers. And they sound they sound pretty good. Um, down to 100 hertz. The Odyssey actually set the back ones at 80 and uh, the front ones at 150. So uh, rounded it off at 100. That was actually the first time it did that. It usually sets them both at like 110. I'm not sure why it changed this time, but uh, uh, so we just set it up the way I like it. And uh, that's basically it. The only other thing you're gonna have to do is once you change all your crossovers, you're gonna have to go back in here in your speakers and your manual setup, and you're gonna go to bass. What you want to change on your bass now is if you're running uh, LP plus main, you get bass going through your speakers, etc. You gotta change your, well, you'll, even if you're just running LFE, you'll have to change it. But uh, your LPF for your LFE, which is your low pass filter, you wanna set to the highest number on your crossover sheet there, like on the, the previous chart. And on ours, it's 100 hertz. So we're gonna set it to 100 hertz. And what that does is that maintains all the frequencies that are getting played are going somewhere. You're not missing out on anything. 
Uh, there's no overlaps really anywhere. Everything that's getting played is coming out of speaker. And if you're cutting off a frequency because the speaker can't play it, it's going to the subwoofer. Because the subwoofer handle all those low frequencies, no problem. So everything below 100 hertz goes to the subs. Everything above 100 hertz goes to the little speakers. And there's a bunch of things down to 60 hertz that go to the towers. But that's just how my system sounds best. Yours might be a little different. You might have a different setup, different speakers, different sizes. Um, maybe you have powered speakers. That's a different beast altogether. <laughs> um, but for now, for me, this is how I do it. And if you have a similar setup, this will help you really get those last few uh, volume clicks out of your system and it still sound great. Uh, probably right about now, uh, your system, if you just set it up like this, you know, you'll get to like three quarter and when stuff's real loud, it gets a little eh, you know, it's not quite enjoyable. This should solve that. It might not be as bassy at low frequencies, but it'll sound better, louder all across the board. And hopefully you thank me for it. Uh, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. If, uh, if you're gonna set yours up like this, if you guys do something different, anything you wanna let me know, let me know. I do my best to answer all the comments. So keep coming and I'll keep applying. Thanks guys, have a good day.